Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So this is the fourth video in the series about dating or being in a relationship with a narcissistic person. So, all right, so these are the 10 sacrifices that you, yes, you will have to make in self-respect when dealing with a narcissistic person. That's just the reality of it because I, as I mentioned to you guys before, when you're dealing with and in a relationship with a narcissistic person, it's not about you at all. It's all about them. So if you want to hear these 10 ways that you will have to give yourself respect while you are in a relationship with a narcissistic person, then you stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming back. So the very first thing that you will have to give up in your self-respect is you have to have a daily mantra of it's all about him or it's all about her. 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 It's all about him. It's all about him. It's all about him. It's all about him. That's kind of what you're going to have to do to make your relationship work with a narcissistic person. The second thing that you will more than likely have to do more often than not is to say I'm sorry even when you have done nothing wrong. You're saying sorry consistently and constantly. Doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. You are always wrong. So you are always sorry. Now let me just say with you saying I'm sorry all the time, he or she will be absolutely ecstatic that you are eager to make them happy and to please them. Yes, they will. Because they're narcissistic. They're trying to remember all of the compliments. They're trying to take all of the compliments that you can give them and just making sure that they are happy because you have to remember it's all about them. It's not about you. So you taking that extra step to say, I am sorry, is making his or her heart beat a lot faster for you. At least temporarily. The third thing. Don't get sick or appear needy because you're going to get your feelings hurt. You're not allowed to get sick. You're not allowed to appear needy. Because you have to remember, your mantra is it's all about them, it's all about them, it's all about them. Excuse me, it's all about him or it's all about her. It's not about you. If you really want to stay in a relationship with a narcissistic person, never talk about your relationship in the sense of, What's going on with our relationship? Mm -mm, don't do that. All right, so the fifth one, don't be selfish. As in downplay all of your good looks, all of your smarts, downplay it all in order to make him or her feel secure while being in a relationship with you. So yeah, I said it, don't be selfish. <laughs> Don't be selfish. It's all about them. It has nothing to do with you. Number six, be as charming as you possibly can. They'll love it. They will love it. They'll eat it up. <laughs> charm them, charm them, charm them. Number seven, never start a sentence with, I need you to blah, blah, blah. Mm -mm. Not your needs. They need. Never start a sentence with, I need you to, etc. Number eight, know what they expect of you. Then guess what? Just give it to them. Give it to them before they even ask you. Again, they will be loving you because you're making it all about the right person, which is them. So know what they want. Give it to them. Give them the praise. Give them the compliments and be consistent about it. The ninth thing that you have to understand and think about is he or she believes in the take principle. Take, 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 take principle. It's never about give. It's all about take, 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 take principle. The tenth one, I'm going to say it, but I totally think it's unrealistic, but that's my own personal opinion. Uh, number ten is to never age. Because they will hate you for this. And they will actually grow to hate grow to hate you for you getting old. Even though they are getting old as well. 
that one I just think is just highly ridiculous, which is why I'm kind of, I'm putting it in here, but I'm making jokes about it because that one is just ridiculous. All of us age. Yeah. So I'm curious to know what you thought of these 10 tips on how to basically take away your self-respect in order to make your narcissistic partner happy. Do you find yourself doing uh, at least 60, 70 percent of these things to make your partner happy? Have you even thought that your partner was a narcissistic person? What are you going to do about it? Are you going to stay for the long haul and basically put your knees behind this person? Doesn't matter what. Because again, I told you before that it's not about you. It's all about your partner. And what I preach here on this channel is healthy relationships. So for me personally, and for most of you out there who have decided to become a part of the I Love Me 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 team, this is more than likely not going to be the relationship for you. But I totally understand if you are that person out there who just really wants your relationship to work out and you happen to be dealing with a narcissistic person. I would absolutely tell you to go and watch the previous three uh, videos that I have on dealing with, understanding, noticing the traits, how to stay sane, how to stay happy, and now today's video. Definitely go ahead and watch those videos because you will get a better understanding of the person that you are dealing with which is actually a good thing the bad thing is that they are not doing the same thing for you again they are the take 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 takers in the relationship but they never give I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this particular video definitely go ahead and comment in the comment section below so we can go ahead and keep this conversation going I absolutely love it share it with somebody that you know who needs to hear this information or maybe they're going through this situation or some of these things and have no idea that this is actually what's going on or that they're actually dealing with a narcissistic person they might need to hear this information all right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed this four series part about having and dealing with a narcissistic person, uh, whether male or female. You have to understand that it happens on both ends. Definitely go ahead and share them with everybody that you know who needs to hear it. If this is your very first time here to I Love Me 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 and you want to hear more relationship content, specifically healthy relationship content, so we can decrease that divorce rate then subscribe or hit the icon with my lovely face. I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.